How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a new attempt by Mini and a very unique attempt by Mini to actually kind of revitalize the interest in manual vehicles. Now before we get into today's video definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new. Also if you've already been subscribed definitely be sure to click that little bell icon down below that actually turns on post notifications and gets you guys notified every time that I post a new video. All that stuff really does help me out a lot as a smaller car channel here on YouTube that posts new content daily. And I have to say that just looking at this article here by, Mar by Motor Trend, which I will leave linked down in the description below, it is a very, very interesting concept. Uh, just this past week, I did a video essentially talking about the, uh, the cars as well as the crossovers and SUVs that you can still buy that have a manual transmission option. Obviously, as time has gone on and on they've dwindled like down further and further and surprisingly there still is a decent amount of new vehicles out there that you can get with a manual transmission but their popularity has certainly declined in the past decade or so and now with everything going to electric v like an electric powertrains and hybrid powertrains it's getting even less and less so I think that it's really cool and most of you guys probably watching today's video are kind of car enthusiasts yourselves. So you would like to see manufacturers invest more into manual transmissions. And I would honestly love to see other manufacturers essentially do what Mini is going to be doing with this new uh, manual driving school that they're going to be uh, starting up here. But anyways, looking at today's article, at first it does mention that Mini is uh, you know, having the uh, hardtop still come back with a manual. The new Mini Coopers as well as the Mini Clubmans are still offered in manual transmissions. They were one of the vehicles on that video that I did where I talked about all the, uh, you know, vehicles that you could still get with the manual trends. But yeah, essentially in the like kind of first section of this article here, it talks about how, you know, a lot of people just love driving manual because it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more engaging. And to be quite honest with you, it gives you a lot more feeling and it's just better like it, again this is my own opinion it's going to be a very opinionated video today but uh in, in my eyes again as well as many of yours it's just so much better to drive manual compared to automatic now yes there's some inconveniences about it and i'm sure that you really wouldn't want a manual transmission if you're in stop and go like bumper to bumper traffic on a uh you know parkway or something but it still is pretty awesome now it also mentions how mini is kind of taking it a step further beyond just making or continuing to make manual cars, they're actually going to be opening up this manual driving school. Now this school is actually going to be in thermal or thermal, I don't know how you pronounce it, but California, and it's going to be at the BMW Performance Center in that uh, town or city. And that Performance Center already has other like driving experience classes and stuff offered with the X5 BMW and the, um, the different like GTs and like the M4 BMWs. Now the only real problem I have with this kind of manual driving course being offered by Mini is that from the looks of this article, it definitely looks like it's not going to be a cheap class. At the very end of this article, we can see that Mini didn't announce, you know, when they will begin or how much it will cost cost but they use as reference the uh, team one day team driving course offered by BMW the BMW Performance Center is $999 so basically a grand for one day and the manual driving class may be within the same ballpark which I think that that is really really ridiculous now when it comes to manufacturers, we see this all the time, whether it's with parts, service, or, or just like dealership markups or anything. If you're getting something straight from a manufacturer or like a larger automotive company, it's gonna be pretty pricey. It doesn't matter what you get. Now, I think that this idea is pretty unique in a way. Obviously, we've seen these kind of classes and courses being offered before, not just by companies like BMW and Porsche, like this article mentions, but but also the uh, Z06 driving course, I think is open to any Z06 owners out there. I think that may depend upon like the generation of your Corvette, uh, but I do know that the Chevy like testing center out in uh, Kentucky, they have a bunch of classes that they do. 
Uh, the one that I'm referring to is the like Z06 driver's course, which again, I think it's for new Z06 owners, uh, but manufacturers have done this in the past. I just definitely think that it is cool that Mini is uh, putting just more of an emphasis on just simply manual transmissions. Now, yes, this is open to anyone. You don't have to own a Mini. You can hate the brand for you know all they care, and it looks like they will still you know accept you as a, a student. Obviously, after you pay like a thousand dollars, which again I just think is a little bit silly. But to learn on a Mini Cooper, like if you've never learned manual before and you just were never taught or anything, uh, learning manual on a Mini Cooper is probably the most forgiving and like best case scenario. So it would be really cool if you know they offer you, I guess, uh, just Mini Cooper to go out on a track with and kind of take you through the different motions and just kind of build that muscle memory when it comes to driving a manual. But anyways, that's pretty much just gonna be it for today's video. I know it was a real short video, but I'm trying to stick to this daily upload schedule. Also, if you haven't already, definitely be sure to check out that video uh, that I did talking about all the new manual cars and SUVs and crossovers that you can still get in late 2022, brand new from a dealership. And again, definitely be sure to go down there, click the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on Mini, uh, you know, making ma making like a manual driving course and whether you think it's positive or whether you think it's just not really worth it out from like a business side of things. But thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of today's video. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, click on either of these links right here to watch a similar video from this channel or click on the little circle link uh, right there to actually subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. I do appreciate all the support, but thank you for sticking to the end of this video and I hope you have a fantastic day.